The Acela Corridor is that stretch of railroad track from Washington, D.C. to Boston, passing through New York, over which runs Amtrak's only profitable train. The train is called the Acela Express, and it runs every hour. For many in the political class, the view out the Acela train window is the only part of America they ever see. The political class Ivy Leaguers who dash back and forth between New York and Washington on the Acela train have exactly no idea what life is like for people in Wichita, Kansas, Knoxville, Tennessee, or Tyler, Texas. From their point of view, all has been right with the world. Being on the inside of the New York-Washington establishment not only pays well, it allows one to rub shoulders with the likes of Katy Perry and Beyonce. And that's why the elites were gobsmacked Tuesday night. They simply could not imagine losing the election to an uncouth outsider like Donald Trump. While the elites were lecturing the country about climate change, gender-neutral restrooms, and gay marriage, Trump was spending day after day in front of thousands of middle-class Americans at a time talking about jobs, the economy, illegal immigration, and Islamic terrorism. Hillary Clinton lost for a number of reasons, but chief among them was this. Billionaire though he is, Trump nevertheless instinctively understands the angst of a 50-year-old man trying to maintain a middle-class standard of living for his family on an income that never grows. To the extent that they remember that he's even there, the elites condescend to that guy. Trump, however, respects that guy as the very bone and sinew of the country. That's my word, what's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.